Hello! Today we're going to be talking about the Roth Violins. The Roth Workshop was set up in 1902 in Bubenreuth, Germany. It's currently in its third generation, being managed by Ernst Heinrich Roth III and his son Wilhelm. One of the main things that really sets the Roth brand apart is its access to some fantastic quality aged materials which have been stockpiling since those early days. Today we're going to have a listen to an example from the concert, master and classic line and think about how they differ. The first example we're going to look at today is from the concert line. This is a Stradivari pattern and it's a model number 51. Fantastic quality spruce and maple for the body, lovely ebony fittings and an ebony fingerboard. The setup is carried out here in store in our workshop. It has a three star bridge from Despo, a German sound post from Parler, German strings as well from Perastro, along with a German tailpiece from Wittner. Let's have a listen to how it sounds. So a beautiful, clear, open, resonant tone. The next example we're going to look at is from the master line. This is a 62 model and it too is a Stradivari pattern. Where the build is concerned, again, we've got lovely maple and spruce, but you can see that higher quality wood showing through with this lovely figure. The setup again is identical. It's got a three star bridge from Despo, a German sound post from Parler, Perpetual strings from Parastro, Whitner tailpiece. Let's have a listen to how it sounds. So from the 62, we're getting that next step in power and projection. Last, but certainly not least, is from the highest line of violins that come from the Roth workshop. This is a model 72 from the classic line, and it's also a Stradivari pattern. Here we're really seeing those stunning materials, lovely figure through the back and ribs, all the way through the neck and scroll. Worthy of pointing out the little insignia on the back of the button. Where the setup's concerned, we've gone with our best quality, three star French bridge from Despo, the sound post from Parler in Germany, perpetual strings from Parastro, and a Whitner tailpiece. Let's have a listen to how it sounds. So there we have it, you're really hearing that power and projecting, a soloistic instrument for sure, but it's still got that really nice depth and complexity. Okay, so there we go, we've heard from each step in the range from Roth, truly lovely instruments in each line. We would usually suggest that they're suitable for advanced students and beyond.